Hello and welcome to Warcraft Daily for today, the 18th of October 2013. So in today's news, we have massive things. The first massive thing is Blizzard All-Stars. It has been renamed to Heroes of the Storm. That means Heroes of the Storm is not, say, a Hearthstone expansion, a WoW expansion, anything like that. It is indeed um, the Blizzard All-Stars thing. If you want to know what Blizzard All-Stars is, it's essentially like League of Legends, League of Legends, League of Legends, Dota, that kind of thing, but it's got Blizzard characters and stuff like that. I think I remember hearing they were going for less of an kind of uber hardcore um, slant on it, which I think suits Blizzard very well. I'm very excited for the game because I just love Blizzard art and they put their unique sh um, like polish on a lot of things. So that's the first thing in today's news, and by the way, today's daily may be a little bit quick because I'm kind of busy with stuff. Um, and then we have the BlizzCon 2013 schedule, so I'm just going to go through what there is. On day one, there's the opening ceremony, there is the um, Diablo 3 uh, Reapers, Reaper of Souls cinematic intro thingy, where they just talk about that. The next interesting one is World of Warcraft, what's next, so that's when we're going to see about the new expansion. We then have StarCraft 2 update, then the Hearthstone Fireside chat, they are basically just StarCraft 2 talk, Hearthstone talk. Then there's World of Warcraft, the adventure continues. Could this also be the new expansion, or just another part of the expansion um, talk? I'm, I'm not really sure. Then we have a preview for the Reaper of Souls. After that, there is an Art of Warcraft panel, then a Heroes of the Storm overview, um, and then the Diablo 3 lore and story Q&A, and then finally that's finished off by the contests, which usually involve watching really, really awkward nerds make complete awkwardness of themselves. But hey, it's all in the name of fun, so it's good. Now let's talk about Sunday. On Sunday we have the live raid, which should be quite fun. The evolving sound of World of Warcraft, which is just going to be the sound team chatting. Hearthstone ex um, ex Exhibition. Then uh, Diablo 3 gameplay systems and a look at the Crusader class. Hopefully we'll get to see some of the gameplay mechanics and things like that. After that we have the World of Warcraft raids, gameplay questing and more panel. And um, that's an hour long. This is one I'm really looking forward to because I just want to see what their ideas are. You know what I think about raids and questing, especially in the way that they should be done. So, perhaps, maybe they'll talk a little bit more about stuff like that, and I'll be uh, happy about it. After that, we have the Heroes of the Storm Deep Dive. No idea what that is, it's probably just looking more into the, the thing. But here's the big bit of news, Warcraft mov movie presentation, I'll talk about that in a minute. Then we have the Heroes of the Storm live matches, so that'll just be like an ex exhibition match to show us what's going on. There's then a general WoW Q&A, which should be fine, Diablo 3 open Q&A, and then the closing ceremony. We don't know who the closing act was. And um, it was Tenacious D a while back. Well, that's been Ozzy Osbourne, Tenacious D, and the Foo Fighters, so who knows what BlizzCon will bring to us this year. Well, let's talk about the movie. Because the movie um, like panel I'm actually really, really excited about because it's uh, it's got Duncan Jones at it. He's the director. He's done things like Moon and Source Code. His Metacritic, or not Metacritic, his Rotten Tomatoes average is 90%, um, meaning he's very good. And other things about him, his original name is Zoe Bowie. He's the son of David Bowie, and... Uh, if I were him, I would have totally got that name change. So, um, yeah, it's it's got him on, it's got Metzen, so hopefully they'll talk a little bit about, like, story, things like that. I would love them to do a trailer. Or at least, maybe, if they showed the Comic-Con kind of, like, idea piece. One of those two. Now, of course, a trailer they won't be able to do, because they haven't filmed the damn thing, so just like a teaser, essentially. Maybe if they have some of the CGI effects done, or at least just what they showed at Comic-Con. I think that would be the best way to do it, because we haven't seen that yet, it hasn't been leaked. And principal photography hasn't even started, so it's not like we're going to be able to get some sort of full trailer. But yeah, still, even if it's concept art, the more we see, the better. As for, um, like, other things about the movie, budget's north of 200 million, coming out in 2015, principal photography starting the, next, the start of next year. And, um, phew, what else about it? Oh yes, um, Colin Farrell is billed to be in it, and so is Paula Patton. No idea who Paula Patton is, I looked her up um, on the internet, and honestly I wasn't very impressed, but Colin Farrell is absolutely bloody fantastic, and quite dead on when you meet him in real life in a random pub, as I have. Yes, that happened. <laughs> he was filming some small Irish film, and um, he's involved in that stuff as well, and we happened to be staying there, so it was cool. Um, but, yeah, that's really it for today's news. In terms of in-game news, there is essentially nothing. Um, but, yeah, it's just interesting to see about BlizzCon, see about Heroes of the Storm, kind of things are going on. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.